Hi there, so we are going to talk about symmetry. Um, I'm going to show you on Desmos what symmetry looks like as well. Personally, I've kind of become a, a more of a visual learner um, as I've gotten older and I know some of my students come into my class as a visual learner. So I, I prefer using the visual um, of the graphs, but um, in my math lab and it's also useful at other times to um, these tests that are listed here. There's a, a test for if it's symmetric to the x-axis. It's when you plug in negative y and you work it out. And, and then so on with y-axis and the origin. And so we're going to see these. So let me go over to um, the uh, Desmos on line and type in this first equation. This is x is equal to y squared minus 4. Okay, now on this graph, we see that whatever your x value is, the y, um, one will be positive, one will be negative. So this is the positive y and this is the negative y. What I'd like to think about is that here, if you were to take this um, graph and fold it in half right here at the x-axis, you've got the same picture on the top as you do on the bottom. So it would be like a reflection of one another. This is an example of x-axis symmetry when it's centered at the x-axis. So uh, the actual test for it though would look like this. <clears throat> the test would be if you plug in negative y, so we'll have x is equal to negative y. We square it because that's the, what's on the equation, minus 4. Now, if I do this negative y times negative y, I'm going to get a positive y squared minus 4. So because I plugged in a negative here and then got out the original after I worked it out, this means that this is symmetric to the x-axis. Now let's take a look at this other function. Let me make sure I have it written down so I can, I can go over to Desmos and put this in. So let me clear this out and I'm going to put in y is equal to negative x to the fourth plus 9x squared. Oop, I did that twice. <laughs> Okay, so here is my graph. Now, I'm going to just zoom it out a little so I can see everything. So, you see how this one is symmetric to the y-axis. That means that if I look here at the y-axis, if I were to fold this in half, if I could just take it like a piece of paper, fold it in half, on both sides it's going to be the same type of thing. And I'm, I'm sure I could um, pull this down a little bit this so zoom it in just a bit there we go it's a little bit better so um, basically you know up here at this peak we're at negative 2.121 and at 20.25 right negative x but uh, the positive y and here we're at positive 2.21 at 2025. So these are mirror images of one another, where just one happens to be negative, one happens to be positive. Very similar to the x axis symmetry. Now, so I like to just look at it. If I can fold it in half and it's a picture on both sides, then we're good. This is y axis symmetry. The way that this would look on um, if we were to plug this in, uh, let me go, I think I still have black. So, um, we only plug in the negative x. So I'm going to have negative of negative x to the fourth plus 9 times negative x squared. Now, if I look at my four 
negative x's these two give me x squared these two give me x squared so I still have this negative out here so what this ends up being is a negative x to the fourth it's just the original and then when I just multiply two negative x's together I get the same thing I get back to the original so this is how you do it algebraically so you could either look at it visually or you can do it algebraically either way but we get the original so with this original we can say oh this is symmetric to the y-axis not a big deal okay. now here's the um, oh I've got these written down the same here sorry let me meant to write a different one here so I have for this x cubed minus 16x. Now you can imagine process of elimination. We're going to be getting down here to the origin. So let's see what the, the um, function is going to look like when I have symmetric to the origin. We have y is equal to x to the third minus 16x. Kind of, kind of weird looking here, but this is a good example of origin symmetry. It's centered at the origin. Um, basically, for these, if you were to take this, you see this point here, negative 2.309, 24.6, um, and you go down to the bottom here, you see that you've got the positive it's kinda nice that you'll have positive x but then the negative at the same point they're they're kind of a reflection of one another um, just you switch these negative and positive it's, it gets a little tricky you don't want to think about it too much basically for origin symmetry you can flip this one over and then fold it in half like if you brought this down here and then filled it in half, you'd have the same picture. So it's a little wonky with um, origin, but one thing you can bet on is that with origin symmetry, it's going to be centered at the origin, which is at zero zero, and you're going to have this type of shape for it. Now, as far as the algebra part, I don't know if you'd want to do that because it's a little more involved, but we're going to be using this a little bit later so it, it may be helpful to you um, so hopefully um, you can follow this if I plug in a negative y and I plug in a negative x that's the actual test for it so I have three negatives here So that one is a negative x to the third minus, and then this negative x changes it to a plus 16x. So this is what I'm looking at. Negative y is negative x cubed plus 16x. And with this, if I then take a negative 1 and multiply over here, and then I take a negative 1 and multiply over here. I'm going to end up getting x cubed minus 16x, and this will be positive y, which is we're back at the original. So when we get back to the original, we are the symmetry. These are the, the three tests depending on what your equations look like. You can also see patterns um, as the equations are written. Y-axis y symmetry, for instance, are going to have even powers here, and usually no nothing added to it. The origin symmetry is going to have odd powers. So there's things that you can look at with that. And just if I could bring one more aspect in, look what happens if I add anything to this. Let's say if I just put 
um, minus 2 here. Or let's do minus 10. So if we did that, we had we have the same shape, but it's no longer symmetric to the origin. So if these things are shifted at all, it, it does matter, and you can't say that they're symmetric to the same thing. But I hope this helps. Um, there are some other videos on YouTube. Feel free to use those as well. Thanks.